guys, welcome to today's video. I thought I would share a grocery haul with you because I always forget to film these. I always just get home from buying groceries and put them away immediately. And so since I just did a big Costco haul to kind of refresh after Christmas and after the holidays, and that's insane. Um, so this haul is usually a lot bigger. I figured this was the perfect time to give you guys another grocery haul because it's been a while. I think I filmed one in August or September when we first moved here. And that was the last one you saw. So. This is a big grocery haul from Costco and a little bit from Sobeys, but I'll tell you what's from where. Yeah, uh, kind of sorted it behind me, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna work my way from this side of the table all the way to that side and show you what we got. So this is like frozen bits and some meat products. We don't need a lot of meat because we don't usually get meat from the grocery store, so we usually get it from like a local butcher or someplace like Spud, but Spud wasn't delivering um, on New Year's and that was our grocery day. So uh, we did need a little bit of chicken. So we got some chicken breasts from Sobeys. Cody picked that up because we're doing, I think two dishes that have chicken this, this time. Normally we get our eggs from either Spud or a local farmer, but during the winter her chickens don't lay. So we just picked up this organic one from Costco. Not ideal, not the best, but it works. They're definitely not as delicious and nutrient dense as the ones we normally get our but in the winter, we do what we can. Canada life. <laughs> um, so from Costco, we got some frozen mangoes for smoothies. We're starting to finally run low on frozen fruit. Um, we just got some frozen veggies from Sobeys. Again, normally we get organic ones from Spud or something to get delivered, but we're running low. And we just need these because Mackenzie is going to make a stir fry. Or no, fried rice. And she needs some of these ingredients. Okay. Knock on the door, so <laughs> now that that's done. Um, we just picked up some fish. Again, the kids, I'm transitioning them back to eating more seafood, um, and we have better stuff, but honestly, the breaded stuff gets them to like fresh wild salmon and stuff, so that's just what we do to get them over the hump. Um, some frozen broccoli for frozen broccoli purposes. This is from Costco. Um, we really like this stuff. And I don't know, sometimes fresh broccoli in the winter is just not good. So again, from Costco, apples, we go through a ton of apples, we bake with them, we just eat, my kids eat them like crazy. Um, this is from Sobeys because I didn't need eight pounds of it. Some kale, uh, some mini cucumbers from Costco because the kids like to just snack on these. Big bag of spinach for smoothies and to add to things. Some mushrooms. I'm gonna make, I don't know exactly what I'm making this week yet, but I have like an idea. Um, so I'm definitely, I like to make like, I don't know, rice dishes with these or maybe some veggie chili because that's Mackenzie's favorite. Some French beans. Cody loves these. He's, my husband is allergic to everything, like so many things. So when he likes a vegetable or can tolerate a vegetable, we buy that often because, you know, you just gotta get them in wherever you can. <laughs> um, some potatoes for just potato wedges, all sorts of things. Cucumbers to slice um, for cucumber sandwiches, but also for um, like hummus platters I like to do a lot in the winter. And right now we're just really liking hummus plates. Some lettuce, because I have some in the fridge, but we always need more. We go through a lot of these. We usually buy two of them a week at least because we eat salad and also we have, um, guinea pig to feed. So some parsley, this is all they had, like the fresh herbs are just not existent right now, but I needed a little bit of parsley and our guinea pig really likes parsley. So a couple of lemons for lemon water, baking, fish, all sorts of things. Some tomatoes from Costco. I really like this like variety blend where it's not just all red ones. These are really yummy. Um, some avocados, they're like, okay. Some of them need to go in the fridge. <laughs> Uh, some raspberries and strawberries because they looked okay, and some blueberries. Two packs of baby carrots. Again, we go through a lot of these, especially when we're doing lots of, like, we're starting hikes and stuff. Anything that's little and we can bag up and put in lunch kits and take on the road is great. Some plain Greek yogurt. We do yogurt and granola and some honey quite often, a few times a week, and it's a great snack that's full of protein for the kids because they're always hungry and always eating. <laughs> um, I really like this sometimes from Costco, the quinoa salad. Um, I say sometimes because this gets old for me quickly, but I like it like every couple months I'll buy one. Um, some butter, these are all from Costco. Um, 
from Sobeys. We got some a big thing of hummus because Costco didn't have the hummus that the kids like. And this was on sale, some chocolate almond milk. Sometimes I get that for the kids. Orange juice from Costco. Cody doesn't, my husband is allergic to like life, so he can't drink green smoothies like we do. Um, so he makes himself green juice with some orange juice and like spinach and he's not allergic to that and can tolerate it. So we go through uh, quite a bit of orange juice. And then I picked up these for my daughter at Sobeys. They're just like little like ramen packs. But this one's garlic and vegetable and a spring onion just because she loves, loves ramen packs. But I don't know, they're really crap, even these ones, but these are slightly better. <laughs> so we got a stir fry sauce because we're gonna do a stir fry this week some Italian seasoning because we're out and nothing is growing to make, what word was that? Growing to make fresh stuff. Maybe this summer I'll make some fresh stuff though. Um, that's from Costco. This is also from Costco, some raw honey. I almost said hockey for some reason. <laughs> some raw honey. This is actually made locally, well like semi-local. So um, I always get these for my daughter and my husband's allergies. Raw honey is really good for that. So picked up some raw honey and that will go in um yogurt granola bowls as well got some sprouted bread this is the squirrely one we like this one the best this is from costco it's way cheaper than anywhere else at costco um some white bread because sometimes they like cucumber sandwiches on white bread my husband also can't eat this drop the camera almost he has to eat the white bread because he's allergic to a lot of the things in here we got some tortillas just plain regular ones because we're going to do a burrito night. We just set out like burrito spread. And then I also use these for lunches to make salad wraps where we'll do like a whole bunch of chopped veggies and some dip. And we will eat just like salad veggie wraps with those. From Costco, we picked out some chipotle aioli. Um, we haven't gotten this for like a year or two because they stopped making this and then they brought it back. There was a recall. We got a bad batch and it was like it exploded. And it was gross and it turned us off of it for a long time. But we really like this with our sweet fries and my husband likes it in his burritos. Um, this is from Costco, just like a nut mix I thought was good for a little treat alongside a cup of tea in the afternoons. Just a little, and also great for like hikes and stuff like that. And then I got these Crunchmaster multi green baked crackers from Costco. These are decent ones and they are really yummy with hummus. So, those are all the groceries we got for this week. So this is a week of groceries for a family of four. Um, we do have things in the pantry and things in the freezer and the fridge already. And we will go get, we'll go to our like local little organic store to grab like the Jersey milk I use in my coffee. And I have almond milk already in the pantry. There are some things that we didn't need that I picked up last time. And um, we still have meats in the freezer from Spud and from the butchers and from things like that. So we don't need a lot. We don't eat meat every day, but we do eat it now. I always get questions about like, are you vegetarian still or no? We were for three years and now we're not. So um, the only other things that we got from Costco or non-food items was more laundry soap. This is a laundry detergent I have used for years and years and years and years. I love it. And we needed some toilet paper. Finally, we ran out. <laughs> now we'll be stocked for another year. No, it's just so massive. Anyways, you guys, that is our grocery haul for the week. If you guys want to see more of these, maybe paired with like a pantry and fridge tour or something, I can show you guys that we're not, I feel like we're a good balance. We're not like crazy healthy. <laughs> I used to be like, we never had anything processed in the house ever. Um, and then we were like way too much junk food. <laughs> and now we're somewhere in the middle because balance is key. Um, anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more grocery, like grocery hauls, I was going to say tours or like what's in my fridge, pantry, things like that, or like other meal food prep things because I know everybody is all about food all the time. We need constant inspiration for new meals so we don't get bored. So just let me know. Um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.